Hey, everybody. Welcome to Talk This Way. I am your host, Matt Bishop. Today, we are hanging out with Josh Kennedy from the Black Moods all the way from the Ozarks. What's going on, man? Uh, all of it. It's all happening right here in the small <laughs> right? town. Yeah. Small town of 600 people. It's really bustling. Jeez. 600 people. Yeah. Uh, well, at least you get some peace and quiet, you know. Yeah. It's uh, Well, it's so funny because uh, I'm here until... I fly back Thursday to the West Coast, so I go from, you know, a town of 600 people to Los Angeles for the week. So <laughs> it's a very, uh, it's culture shock, <laughs> and a lot more traffic. <laughs> yeah, you know that's the difference. Is that out there you can, you know, out there it's just everybody just driving like they're mad at each other. Out <laughs> here, out here it's like you get road rage because there's a tractor going 20 miles an hour in front of you. I won't pull over and get the hell out of the way, you know? Oh, man. You just you can't win either way. That's right. <laughs> well, yeah, dude. Yeah, after this uh, R&R here, you're heading back to uh, gear up for this tour that you guys got coming up, a little co-headlining run with the Dead Deads. That should be a good time. Yeah, those those guys, are those girls are awesome. Uh, uh, they, uh, they seem a little feistier than we are, so I'm kind of, <laughs> we got to. We're in training right now, I guess, getting ready to gear up for the big tour, you know. Starts in Nashville, so we're looking forward oh, to nice. that. I think that's where they're from, too. So, it's, again, we got a lot of friends out there, and our uh, one of our producers, Johnny K, just moved out there. So, looking forward to do this to catch up. We'll probably go a few days early just to take in some Nashville before all the chaos. Oh, and you got to. Such a great town, such a great music town. Um, the culture there has got to be, you know, unbelievable. Yeah, now, especially because uh, um, they're being uh, invaded by the Californians. You know, I know a lot of yeah. friends of mine that are like, you know, got out during the pandemic and moved to Nashville. And mm -hmm. so I'm sure there's mixed feelings from the for the Nashville people. about <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I feel like I mean, and I don't know this, you know, I'm not I noodle on the guitar. I wouldn't really call myself a musician, but I know just for you know years and years decades really just that's been such a hub for you know uh touring musicians session musicians and also you know people just go there there's just an abundance of studio space and uh it's yeah. been a hub for forever you know yeah the uh the level of talent out there is something else you know um at least you know some of those places that we went in because um it's hit and miss too because we've been down there sometimes because you go down music row and you're expecting to hear you know the what Nashville's known for is this mm -hmm. country kind of and these pickers and and sometimes you get <laughs> you know eight bars and all the guys are like cover southern rock band guys playing like Mustang Sally and Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> so, nice. So it just depends on what day of the week you're there. I hear you, man. So you know you you mentioned that uh, the Dead Deads they're a little feisty. They might kind of give you guys a run for your money a little bit. Is that? Yeah. Is that kind of a fun experience, you know, trying to team up with, uh, you know, different artists that aren't really too similar to you guys and kind of have a different vibe going to to kind of keep you on your toes and, and push your push your game a little bit? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's 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 always fun like that. We we've, we've got to tour with quite a few, you know, really great bands. And so it's always interesting to uh, to see the dynamics of how different bands work and stuff like that. As far as, you know. Uh, we don't I don't know there's not a lot of bands out there like us I don't think just to kind of the style that we play is kind of very broad I think but um as far as the uh the uh partying and enjoying life on the road aspect it's definitely similar amongst all the bands that we've toured with <laughs> so nice. we're looking forward to hanging out with these guys for sure very cool um, so we're still pushing this album pretty good. Uh, you know, it hasn't even been out a year. Um, it's got to feel good, you know, seeing the response that it's gotten. Um, you know, especially this day and age, you guys have such a vintage feel and to be getting the response in 2023, 22, 23, uh, since the record came out, it, it's gotta be, uh, you know, quite the sensation. Yeah, uh, it's like, because we've been, we, we haven't been one of those bands that's, you know, went with the fads. It's like, oh, well, this is cool right now, so we're going to write like this, or this is cool. We've always been 
on our own path. And it's, it's nice that, you know, it seems like some people are catching up. <laughs> so that's a good thing. It feels really good. And, and we love the record. It was a late, you know, complete labor of love, uh, uh, especially during, you know, for us, it, it didn't always, we just shifted gears when all the, cause we recorded it when everything was shut down. Mm-hmm. So uh, instead of, you know, all three of us are together all the time, it, you know, we live together on and off the road. So, uh, and we hang out together when we're not playing. So it's uh, nothing really changed for us. We just decided to start making a record because we couldn't play any shows. And and uh, we moved into a house and recorded it that way. So we lived in the house and we'd wake up and start working. And we did it here in the Ozarks. So if if anything, if we hit writer's block or anything like that, we would just go to the creek, and grab our acoustics and go down there until inspiration struck. And, and then we'd go back to the studio and pick it up from there. So it was really... It was, you know, it was a good time. It was a great summer for us, you know, considering there was a pandemic. Yeah. Which is crazy. And to be able to do that, I mean, that's like the old school way of making an album. And, you know, nowadays with technology and stuff, I mean, people make whole albums and the band members are never in the same room. They just cut their part, you know, yeah. send it over via email that's... and then they cut their part. They send it back and, you know. And I'm not saying that you still don't get a good result from it. I'm just saying you guys really like went back to the roots of making a record. Yeah. And uh, I think it shines through on the album too, because it's got, there's certain, uh, there's a little bit more of a, uh, I mean, there's the, there's the rockers on there, you know, like uh, youth is wasted on the young and, uh, and uh, fire and gasoline and these kind of things, but then like junk excuses and, big time it's got definitely i feel like the creek and the acoustic guitars and everything really sunk in and you got some ozarks in that record for sure yeah for sure but it'll it'll sound good in nashville that's for damn oh, sure yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. let's hope unless it's unless it's bro country we, we definitely don't fit <laughs> yeah <like that>. right <laughs> Uh, I appreciate, you know, all music. If you just get up and make music, you know, you're cool with me. Uh, it's never really been my scene, though, the bro country stuff. But I don't know. Hey, uh, if uh, people like it. Yeah. If yeah, people I mean, like it, hey, that's cool with me. You know, like what you it, like. Um, yeah. I mean, those good, guys though. are they're they're bro countrying all the way to the bank. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's that. <laughs> um. So, I mean, you you t- said before, you know, you guys are you to- you're on the road together. Then when you get off, it just kind of never stops. You're living together. You're hanging out. Um, do you find that you guys have like some stuff stockpiled up? I mean, I know it's like crazy to talk about, like the the record's not even, you know, 10 months old. But um, oh, yeah, we've already. Started, yeah, we've already started the next album for sure. So, yeah, just anytime we got it, because we know the when summer comes and stuff like that, we're usually out on the road from, mm-hmm. you know, like this year, it's starting in March and we usually go until October. Cause we're based out of Phoenix, you know, Tempe, Arizona, okay. where our, our main studio is and where we're all kind of hub out of, but um, it's it usually good. Cause it's always 115, 120 degrees back in Phoenix during the summertime. So we tend to dip out for that. And then, uh, about October, it starts to get nice again. So we go back there and then play some shows. And then the holidays hit and then we all go, you know, see our families. Mm-hmm. And then we go back for rehearsal and then, you know, then back on the road, make a record. It's a it's a vicious cycle that we love. Yeah. <laughs> Create, rinse, repeat, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the shampoo of rock. Yeah. So you guys got this little run coming up, this mini run. Anything uh, in the works for like summer into fall? Yeah, uh, we have we have this run with Dead Deads, and then we go out with our friends in Royal Bliss. We've got some dates with them, and then uh, and other stuff starting to trickle in. And we're, we're with Godsmack in Phoenix, May sixth, I believe. Very and that really cool. t- that takes us back, and then we've got some more. You know, it's kind of start trickling in. We've got some some solid dates scattered out and then we'll book the tour around all that kind of stuff that's already solidified you know all right details yeah. for that come in now or or uh, in the near future 
<laughs> I, I'm not. Yeah, in the near future, I, uh, all right. You know, we put them out as we get them. So I, you know, I had to put you on the spot. Yeah, I usually go, I go to the website to find out what we're playing next. So <laughs> the black That's where I there find There it is. Well, interest. we're going to have that right down here at the bottom for everybody. Yeah, so the black That's where I get my info. <laughs> find out before they do. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Literally. But uh, oh, we, do have a, we have a, uh, our, we put a beer out because uh, we, we've been in the wine business for a couple of years now. Uh, we have a red okay. one and a white uh, the red's called belladonna and then the white's called sunshine and so we partnered up with a uh a winery in in scottsdale uh and so they've been it's been a good endeavor for us and you know we look at ourselves as not connoisseurs but uh but we like it a lot there you go so that's like, how i think that. of myself i don't let's, know a whole lot about you know wine and bourbon but i enjoy drinking them yeah exactly. <laughs> like a lot so yeah, yeah i just i can be like yeah this is this is pretty good oh this has a little bit of like a vanilla aftertaste or whatever but yeah i'm nowhere i'm light yeah. years from a from a sommelier that's that's for damn sure <laughs> yeah so so we got that and then we're uh so we just it's coming out the ninth i think of march and uh yeah the ninth uh it's called hollywood and lime because we have a song on of our record called hollywood beautiful so, but it's a, it's uh yeah it's it's good it's a good beer so and we're partnered up with a, a brewery out of phoenix downtown there called walter station and so they just hit us up and want to know if we'd be interested and you know we said if we can come down and and have the right flavor yeah because we've been nice. approached by other stuff we're not you know we don't just slap our name on anything like that mm. uh we we have to like it ourselves and want to drink it so. <laughs> yeah for sure so, uh, so it was cool. We got to go down there and and, and hang out at the brewery, and they're really great to us. So we're going to do a show there. It's kind of like a more intimate show on the ninth in Phoenix to release that, and then uh, and then it's all rehearsals until the tour starts the twenty fourth at the basement in Nashville. Nice. Now I don't know. I'm not familiar with like state liquor laws and all that stuff. Can you guys bring that on tour with you and sell at the merch booth as long as somebody no. has an ID? No, I, I, you can't sell it. That's the thing. It's uh, that gets tricky. But it's yeah, again, I bet. the blackmoods dot com. You can find there all you your go. booze needs. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Oh, that would be sick though. Get a nice sign can. Yeah. Well, I, I don't. Sweet. I have to look into that because I know, I know. Just you know, you got your states that are for sure uh, against yeah. that. Say like Utah, like. Uh, because okay. you know, there's some there's some states you because you can order it, but you can't really ship it. It's gotta go through like their weird government system. Mm -hmm. that, or just however that works. Utah Utah is the one that sticks out to me the most that we that I heard that was like, yeah, that's difficult. So yeah. But there's I think there's a there's like eight or so states like that. But yeah, we don't risk it. We we uh we gamble enough just being on the road. We don't need to be yeah, right. <laughs> Rock band, the Black Moods, arrested on bootlegging charges. <laughs> bootlegging Wait, charges. what? In 2023. <laughs> yeah. It so, might yeah. help album sales a little bit, but I, I don't think it's worth the trouble. <laughs> I'm going to say no on that. Yeah, okay. I'll take Your you publicist about. does not want to write that press release. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> too many phone calls. Yeah, too many phone calls. <laughs> oh, man. Well, dude, thank you so much for hanging out for a little bit. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go let you relax, maybe grab one of those guitars behind you and noodle oh, a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Are yeah, any of those making the trip list. trip back? Uh, no. Yeah. No, I've got I've got way too many in the studio <laughs> in Phoenix. So these guys stay here so so I don't have to travel back and forth with nice. them. Nice. You know? <laughs> But thanks for having Dude, me. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks so much, ladies and gentlemen. The Black Moods there heading out on tour. Uh, we got a link right down there for you at the bottom uh, to grab some tickets. They'll be uh, doing a couple of spring dates and then uh show with Godsmack and some other really cool stuff coming up down the pike. Uh, and along with the rest of the band, you can find out when that's announced at the Black Moods <laughs> website, which is right down here. <laughs> We're out of here. Thanks so much, thanks, brother. Buddy.